Hey, 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 everybody. How are you? My name is Jessica Harris. I'm the visionary founder of Ignite Your Glow. Y'all, this is a word for those of you who are just now waking up in the spirit. I believe it, y'all. I know there's many of us who are already in this separation season and we've seen it and we're going through it and we're like, okay, we get it. But I also believe there's many of you who are just now waking up and just now peeping like what's going on around you because I felt it in my spirit earlier to really just go live about it. So I'm like, all right, bet I did that on Instagram, but let me come here right quick too to y'all. So if you have not already subscribed, like, share, y'all go forth and go ahead, especially if you're new to the channel, y'all don't want to miss these words y'all don't want to miss them all right let's go ahead and jump into this so for many of you y'all already know and those of you who are learning and those of you who are just waking up you are walking into a separation season this may not be everybody's word as always y'all take the words to god ask him to confirm it for you but these words literally should be nothing more than confirmation in all honesty but he really needs y'all to understand that you're in a separation season that you're in a place right now where he is pulling you to move out of your former things to move out of the familiar to stop thinking about the past situations there's some of y'all that you felt the need to break up with your to break up whomever you was dating to break up with whoever you was engaged to there's some of y'all who feeling the need to get out of that job there's some of y'all who are feeling this desire like i just feel like i gotta move like i don't know why i need to move and then you're asking god okay well, if i'm moving where am i going and he's not telling you to go like a block over or a town over for some of y'all he's like nah i'm gonna need you to go cross country for some of y'all he may even say i need you to go to a whole other country right now and you looking like but god how that about to work I'm telling y'all, the reason why he's doing this is because one, there's an elevation that he's about to do for you. But two, in order for him to get to that elevation for you, you have to be separated. There's some people, places, and things that you need to come out of agreement with. There's some things that have simply not been good for you that you decided to do on your own accord. That now he's like, all right, cool. I allowed you to do X, Y, and Z on your own. But now because my purpose within you is getting ready to emerge, I need you to be called out from those things so I can prune you, so I can shape you, so I can mold you right because he's the part of we are the clay to be able to get you in position to the very things of which he has for you there is so much that he wants to bestow upon you but in order for you to walk into what it is that he has for you you have to allow yourself to be pruned you have to allow yourself to come out of these relationships y'all like there's some of y'all who dating these guys these girls whomever woman whatever the case is right and they're not for you and you know that you know that it's not even like you don't know that you know that but some of y'all have stayed in these relationships because you're tired of being alone some of y'all have stayed in these relationships because you're sitting there feeling like well god i don't know when someone's so supposed to come so i'm just with someone so for now like that's not what he has for you god is not a god who's gonna allow you to take less when he's a god who is of the great like how does that even make sense like come on y'all make it make sense right quick right the same thing with y'all jobs some of y'all are in jobs that you've been feeling the earth like Every day you go into work and you feel the need to quit. There's some of y'all who probably already wrote your resignation letters a minute ago. And y'all ain't even give the resignation to your manager yet. Because you so scared about how things are going to happen on the outside. You're like, but wait a minute. X, Y, and Z are due and da X, Y, and Z, right? I get it. I've been there. Y'all, I'll do a video later on. Um whenever God releases me to do it on how he pulled me out of my job because that happened to me. He pulled me out of my job to start a business. Why? Because my job, that was no longer where he needed me, not in that moment, not in that season. So he will do it. And not only did he pull me out from that job, I guess I'll do a quick testimony, right? He allowed provision to be made for me every step of the way. I'm not a, I'm a single woman right now, but at the time, my relationship had just ended and I was a mom to three little people. Like I'm a mom to three young children and he pulled me out. And when he did, he allowed me to see him. He allowed me to see his hands upon my life and upon my children's life. We didn't go hungry. We didn't need anything. We didn't want for nothing. Think about Psalms 23, one, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Think of the scriptures, Matthew 6, 33, right? Seek ye the kingdom of God first and his righteousness and then all will then be given unto you right that's what it tells us in scripture his word cannot fail it literally says that in scripture 
his word cannot return unto him void. So if we have these words from God that tells us that he is the provider, that tells us that he is able, that tells us that he can do abundantly and exceedingly above all more than we can ever expect or think of, right? Then why are we scared to abide in him when he tells us something? Like when he says to move out that job, you best to move because he's probably protecting you from something or there's something that's keeping you stagnant. And he's like, you going like a tank, you going like a snail in this period but i really need you to be going and just soaring like an eagle but at this job you can't soar because of all the stress all the headaches or all the things that are coming against you he is trying to make a way for you to come out of the toil some of y'all have been toiling for years some of y'all have been ignoring the signs for years because you're stuck where you're used to you're stuck in the familiar but what he's calling you to understand is that the former things are going away and that we are walking into the things of made new receive what he's doing for you receive the blessings that he has for you receive the calling on your life that is upon you he's separating you for a reason because there is more for you that he has but in order to see it he must get some things off of you first y'all you can't go as a spoiled vessel into oh here we go new wine skins right in old wine skins let's use that because that's coming to mind if you are an old wineskin, that means you have been worn out and everything else, right? There might be some holes in it. Who knows, right? But if I try to pour new wine into that, it's not going to stay. It's going to seep out because it's been worn out. It may have some holes in there, right? Like, it's not going to work. Why would I pour wine into old wine skin when I can pour wine into something new? allow him to make you a new vessel allow him to purify you allow him to take out the impurities allow him to fix your broken hearts allow him to mend the rejection and the betrayal remember his word also tells us right everything all things not some things not part of things not partial things all things work together for the good of those who love the lord who are called to what his purpose you have been called to his purpose. Therefore, every single situation you have ever endured, whether it was mommy issues, daddy issues, betrayal, rejection, heartache, breakups, lying, cheating, it doesn't matter. Everything that you have endured, I don't mean to yell at y'all, but I feel this so strongly. Everything that you have endured, he is getting ready to allow that to be used in your life in such a mighty way that those who once did those things to you are going to see you in such an elevated manner. There is not a need for you to go after them. There is not a need for you to take it upon yourself to get vengeance because God wants the vengeance in those situations. Allow him to fight your battles and may you have the peace of God rest upon you. Y'all, get into your word. Get into your word. Get into your word. I don't mean no fly by night session. I don't mean no two minute session. I mean, allow that word to marinate in your soul. Allow the word to marinate and fall into you fully. Get that word into your bellies. Get those words into your mind, your body, your soul. And don't just do it for you. If you have children out there, y'all, y'all moms, y'all dads, whatever the case may be, step parents, whomever, nieces, nephews, cousins, whomever, get the word into these babies. Get the word in their bellies. This week, the verse that came to me when I said, God, I want to get my kids into scripture because my kids are young. I would, the first one that came to mind immediately was, um, no weapons formed against me shall prosper. I said, bet. That's exactly what I'm going to teach my kids all week. I have a friend of mine who's doing the same thing with her children and she's doing them a scripture per day. Their kids are older. So, you know what I mean? You go with what makes sense for you. My kids can do a week right now and build to getting to the um, day by day. But get some scriptures into them, y'all. You knowing the Bible is amazing, but getting them babies into the word, y'all. God tells us already in his word that he wants us to come to him as what? As children. Your children are pure. Pour the word into them. They're sponges. They'll soak it up. Come on, y'all. Our babies can do a lot. That's a whole nother word. Anyways, y'all, I know I got a lot. I'm mad like I gotta stay focused. Focus of this message is real simple though. 
You are in a period of where God is separating you, especially if you have not seen it, or maybe you're seeing it, but you're not understanding why people are dropping off, why some friends you can't talk to, why there's some people you can't be around, why you just feel this weird, like, I can't even call her no more, I can't call him no more, or I can't be in those atmospheres, or I can't go into that store, or I can't go into this neighborhood anymore, or I can't even go to this job. Whatever it is, the reason why you're feeling these things is because God is pulling you out and separating you. He needs you to understand what is happening because the words that he's been ringing to me at the beginning of July were, do you not perceive what it is that I am doing? Open your eyes, have the ears to hear and eyes to see what it is the spirit of the Lord is speaking into the church right now. You are the church, not the building you go to on Sundays, but you as an individual is the church. You are the church. You are part of the body of Christ. When he speaks, he is trying to get something into you. He is trying to soak messages into you. But until you get quiet, until you get into a place with him, you will miss the very thing of what he is trying to do in your life. And it doesn't mean that you won't get there, but there is a time frame as to how he wants to do things. There is an ease as to how he wants to get some things done. Not everything will be easy, but there are some things that he can do with ease so you're not toiling. But if you try to do it in your own strength, you'll start to see your resources dry up. Up. Hmm. Some of y'all might be noticing that now. If you try to do it in your own strength, you'll start to notice that things aren't going your way anymore. Hmm. I wonder why. Maybe you were somebody who always had money and all of a sudden you're like, yo, I don't seem to be making any money nowadays. Like, why my money drying up? When your resources start to dry up like that, you want to see God and ask him, is there something that I'm missing? Because nine times out of 10, there's an instruction that he tried to give you that you missed. There's something that you miss in the process, whether that was a move of some sort that needed to be done, whether that was another thing that he needed you to do, whether there was something that you didn't complete. I don't know, but seek God on that because I, I know what I've had to do and go backwards on because he's like, wait a minute, there was a project I needed you to complete. Or you've stayed in this particular space too long, I need you to move because that space no longer has the resource for you, but this next place will hear be in tune because he's training your ears to hear he's training you to get it in your hearts and your spirits to know what it is that he's saying and how he speaks because he speaks to us differently because he knows how you'll receive it how you'll receive it how you'll receive it so he may say things in a certain way that makes sense for me i get things in different ways there's people who get things in songs people who get things with um through words of the spirit dreams visions whatever your gift is ask god to pour it into you and ask him how to get in a place to seek him who that was a lot i hope y'all receive it again take it to the lord this should really be confirmation because many of us myself included are already in this so take it to the lord i pray that god continues to cover you that he continues to bless you that he continues to just pour into you in the ways in which you needed to be poured into heavenly father gracious god we thank you right now lord god for just meeting us where we are right now in our journeys lord god i pray heavenly father that those father god who have the ability to hear lord god that they hear you so clearly right now lord god in this moment in this hour and in this season lord god i pray heavenly father that they lord god in the body of christ father god have the ears to hear father god and the eyes to see lord god what it is that you are pouring out in the spirit father god into the church right now lord god i pray heavenly father that those lord god who are getting ready to wake up or in those heavenly father who have woken up in the spirit lord god May they, Heavenly Father, start to seek you in a way like never before, Lord God. May they not allow themselves, Heavenly Father, to get so caught up, Lord God, in their tomorrow, Lord God, that they miss what it is that you are doing today. May they take the time, Heavenly Father, to truly seek what it is, Lord God, that you are speaking to them, Lord God. And may they perceive all things in what you're doing, Lord God, in every area, in every aspect of their life. I pray, Lord God, that a hedge of protection, Father God, is upon them and their households right now, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that you continue to just cover their transitions, Lord God that you renew their minds and that you continue heavenly father giving them your strength in the name of jesus lord god that they may be able father god to continue on and what it is lord god of what you have them for and jesus is mighty matchless name lord god i pray father god that you continue to just allow your people father god to truly see what it is that you are doing in this glorious moment in jesus name i pray amen y'all be blessed be blessed be blessed i'll catch y'all back on ignite you are glow